I'm a Christian, a conservative, and a proud Kentuckian. In downtown Glasgow, Kelly Kraft officially launched her campaign. And I'm running for governor of our great state. She's the latest candidate to enter a packed Republican field. Each one of them wants the chance to take on Kentucky's current leader. Good morning, everybody. Governor Andy Bashir, but only one of them will get that opportunity. But on this stage tonight, Kraft didn't seem to focus on the GOP primary at all. She made it clear her eyes are on the general election and her target is Governor Andy Bashir. And don't you think we need to fire Andy Bashir? Yes. Throughout her speech, Kraft also made it clear she's going to bring national politics into Kentucky's governor's race by repeatedly linking Bashir and President Joe Biden. The people of our state have been dealt blow after blow after blow, all as a result of the failed and extreme liberal policies of Joe Biden and Andy Bashir. But in order to get to Bashir, Kraft would need to first beat out all of the other Republicans. And despite working for President Donald Trump as a U.S. ambassador, Kraft did not get his endorsement. Her opponent, Attorney General Daniel Cameron, did. However, some of her supporters who say they are big Trump fans are not bothered by the lack of endorsement. They say her work for Trump carries some weight. Well, if it's good for Trump, it's good for me. Of course, the ambassadorships Kraft had under Trump were appointed positions. Unlike some of her GOP opponents, Kraft has not held an elected office before. So voters need to know where she stands on different issues. And today, she told the crowd she wants to be a tough on crime governor, but her main priority is inflation. We must lower the cost of living for our citizens. What's her plan to do that? Not many details on that tonight, but that's something she'll need to explain to voters on the campaign trail. In Barron County, Carolina Butchuk, LXCT News.